What's going on guys? In this video, should you use sets and intensifiers to make more progress at the gym and more gains? In this video, I'll explain that to you. Some people can use them and some people should stay away from them for now. All right, let's go quickly into sets and intensifiers. Basically, supersets, drop sets, pause reps. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Four straps. We have uh, cluster sets. All right, taking less rest also in between sets. Pre-exhaustion sets. So... I'll go fast explaining each one. The drop set is basically you're benching 100 kilos or 100 pounds and then you drop 20 pounds each side and then you do another set after that 100 pound set. The super set is as soon as you finish your bench press, you go on the machine fly and you do another set without rest in between. Uh, cluster set is you keep the same weight. Let's say I have my 200 pounds. I'll do five reps. I'll put it back wait for a few seconds and grab it again and do another two to three reps just to get more reps in it's still considered the same set we have four straps where you're ba uh, sorry four straps where you're basically having someone helping you or spotting you and you're just kind of forcing that rep at the end even if the form might not be ideal you have paused reps so you're pausing boom 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 you have uh, more time under tension so basically you're taking your time and this is a set intensifier you're increasing your tempo so instead of doing one two three you'll just take your time boom boom uh pause reps i spoke about that uh, range of motion playing with the range of motion a lot of cheat reps a lot of uh, bodybuilders back in the days once they couldn't perform a full set and they're let's say they fail at eight reps for the last reps, they will just do half reps just to get a little bit more stimulation. All right, so should you use them? Are they good for you? Are they beneficial sets intensifiers? I see people that just started the gym and they want to do all those sets intensifiers because they see Lee Haney or not Lee Haney, what's his, his name? Haney Rambold training Phil Heath or training Derek, Lunsf Derek Lunsford or training Haney Schupan. And then they see those techniques and they want to implement them to their own workouts. But guys, those guys are Mr. Olympias, all right? So they've built already the basics. If you've still been training in the gym, you're new, it's your first year, second year, third year, don't focus on that because this is like putting the finition, all right? The finition, not the definition, the finition. So let's say you're building a house and the finition of it would be putting the tables. Well, you're still at the level of building that house. If you're in your first year, second year, third year, you gotta build that basic, build that foundation. All right, don't start the first year with a lot of drop sets and supersets and kind of put all your energy in trying to replicate a cluster set that you saw uh, Mr. Olympia doing or a circuit or this, but focus on building that foundation, building the basics. And most often they're not, it's done with straight sets. All right, I know it's boring because we want to hear something that is more kind of wow oh i have to drop the weight and then 30 percent of that weight and then at the end i have to do this but sometimes the basics are boring all right no stay with the basically 8 to 12 rep range for the big compound movements and do a straight set get them to feel your push hard on them and if you're doing your set of 10 on the bench press and you're giving everything there's no point for you at the moment to do a drop set or a super set because you're getting enough stimulation all right the sets intensifiers are a great way to add the intensity but where you're at if you're still starting still build that foundation first i would say if you've been training for over four five six years and so on all right to me i use them a lot because after a certain point you just don't want to keep adding weight on the bar or risking an injury every single time with just the bench press or the squat and then doing the same thing become repetitive so you got to play with it add the intensity so i can go for drop sets i do a lot of supersets i do a lot of uh, giant sets i drop i drop the rest period pause reps all right things like that so uh, yeah, that's it. They're useful for people that are more advanced. But if you're a beginner, build that foundation first. Make sure that you're putting those compound movements kind of in your workout, the straight set. All right, don't focus on any drop set for now. Do your bench press, your squat, your overhead press, your pull-ups. Do them in a straight set. Get those sets to failure. And that's more than enough stimulation than you need. All right, for you doing a super set or a drop set, you're actually taking away the benefit that you can get from a straight set of bench and you're splitting it into other things that will not give you the same bang for your buck all right when you see i don't know james hollingshed doing his uh clusters or drop sets and those sets intensifiers well he's using a lightweight yes but even his light well light 
quote unquote, because it's lighter for him and he's using all those drop sets and this and that, but he still had to reach that level, that foundation, that squatting for, I don't know, four or five plates for reps before starting to doing the pause reps with the two plates each side. You know what I mean? So for you starting to do the pause reps right now, you still haven't reached a strength or a, or a, or a muscle mass that will allow you to get results from dropping it now. All right. So what I'm saying is stick with the foundation, stick with the straight set and you will get more results for the first couple of years. Build that foundation. Don't focus on the finition first. All right. You don't want to start. It's like a painting. You got to first draw what is the foundation. And then at the end, you'll put the colors. All right. The colors, you put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But the first, the foundation is building that uh, good quality tissue and strength. That's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you like it. Leave a like, comment.